Okay, so once again, we're going to solve a higher order equation. And the first thing to do is always write down the auxiliary or characteristic equation. So this time around, it's a fourth order. So we're going to see an r to the fourth minus an 8r squared plus 16 is equal to zero. And you could graph this on your calculator, but oftentimes you can factor these and factor them by inspection. This factors as an r squared minus 4 times an r squared minus 4 equals 0. And then each one of these factors is r plus 2, r minus 2, r plus 2, and r minus 2 is equal to 0. So our r1 is negative 2, our r2 is 2, our 3 is negative 2, and r4 is once again positive 2. So we've got repeated values of r, and remember, when you have repeated values, you have to use t's to break the linear dependence between the terms. So our general solution is going to have a c1, e to the negative 2t, and a c2, e to the positive 2t. But then for our third term, we're going to have a c3, t, e to the negative 2t. And then for the fourth term, c4, t e to the positive 2t and again these four terms here are all linearly independent of each other and that could be done by finding a 4 by 4 Ronskian or making an argument again based on the values of c that they'd all have to be equal to zero for the linear combination to make zero so that is our solution of our fourth order equation and again the best way to break the repeats with the values of r is to put a t in front of them